सो हेलो एवरी वन आई एम मिस हर्षिता एंड टूडे आई हेव कम अप विद अ वीडियो फ्रॉम द सीरीज इन विच आई विल बी शेयरिंग विद यू द कॉमन नेम्स ऑफ सम वेरी नोन कॉमन कंपाउंड सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द कॉमन कंपाउंड सम ऑफ द कॉमन केमिकल कंपाउंड यू ऑल आर वेरी वेल अवेयर ऑफ यू मस्ट हैव यूज देयर केमिकल फॉर्मूला वाइल राइटिंग द केमिकल इक्वेज द केमिकल रिएक्शन यू मस्ट हैव इवन सीन दैम in the chemistry labs while performing the chemical reactions or observing the demonstrations which are done by your teacher okay so in this very first video i have come up with these seven chemical compounds of which we will be discussing the common names okay so in the very first chemical compound i have written over here the common name of the chemical compound as we are very well about well aware well aware about its common name so first one it is baking soda so any guesses that baking soda it is the common name of which important chemical compound the baking soda it is the common name for the chemical compound that is sodium hydrogen carbonate which is also known as sodium bicarbonate sodium bicarbonate and what is its chemical formula you all must be very well aware about its chemical formula it is a very important formula from board's point of view from the competitive exams point of view so you should be very well aware about its chemical formula so what it is it is nahco3 sodium bicarbonate sodium hydrogen carbonate that is nahco Three. Now you must be wondering that out of all the names, why is it given the name as baking soda? So you should know that the sodium bicarbonate it is a very important component. It's a very important part, very important component of the baking powder. The baking powder which is uh, used at our homes for baking for cooking purposes. So this baking powder it is made out of this baking soda sodium bicarbonate okay the baking powder it has two main components the baking powder it is made out of two main components one that is the baking soda sodium bicarbonate and the other component is a mild edible acid mild means which is weak in nature not very strong mild edible which can be consumed so when a mild edible acid like the tartaric acid or the citric acid it is reacted with sodium bicarbonate then we are able to obtain the baking powder which is used for baking purposes which is used for cooking purposes so from its use from uh, its application it gets its name its common name that is baking soda and in the common name baking soda soda stands for the soda it stands for the sodium salt from the soda you are able to understand that this particular compound must be a sodium salt okay now coming up to the next one next one it is nitrogen next chemical compound it is nitrogen so nitrogen it is commonly known as the azote gas what is nitrogen commonly known as nitrogen is commonly known as the azote gas so now you must be wondering again that why out of all the names it has to be given uh, such a peculiar name that is azote gas the word azote translates to without life so a very renowned scientist sir antoine lavoisier he had observed and he had discovered about the nitrogen gas that it is unable to support the life it is unable to support life so due to this property due to this inability to support life the nitrogen gas has got its common name that is azote gas so azote translates to without life now coming up with the next one that is aqua regia again a very important compound a very 
uh, important compound that you must have gone through while you are studying the acid base chapter the metal and non metal chapter so what is this aqua regia actually the aqua regia it is a very strong very highly corrosive uh, mixture which is prepared by combining by reacting the two highly concentrated acids that that is the concentrated hydrochloric acid and the concentrated nitric acid they both are combined together in a ratio of 3 is to 1 by their volume so now comes the question that why it is named as aqua regia aqua regia translates to royal water aqua regia translates to royal water so just try to take a guess that why is it known as the aqua regia the royal water you can comment below the reason the guess you can comment below by the time i am writing over here its chemical formula so as we discussed it is a chemical combination of two highly concentrated acids that is concentrated hydrochloric acid and concentrated nitric acid which are combined together in the fixed volume now talking about the reason why is it named as the aqua regia or the royal water well as you know that the aqua regia or the royal water it has the capability it has a property to be able to dissolve the noble metals noble metals which are very very less reactive they do not react easily with the other uh, oxides carbonate or the sulfates which are existing in the environment so the noble metals which are gold and platinum which are placed at the bottom most of the reactivity series so this aqua regia the royal metal okay the, uh, the royal water it is having the capability to dissolve these expensive royal metals the gold and platinum they are categorized as the royal metals they are categorized as the expensive metals so as this aqua regia which is known as royal water it is having the capability to dissolve these expensive royal metals it gets its name as aqua regia now coming to the next one that is bauxite so bauxite uh, you must have studied in the social science as well that it is the ore from which we are able to extract the aluminium metal so bauxite it is a common name for the chemical compound which have the formula so over here i am writing the formula so it is aluminium oxide dihydrate the chemical name is aluminium oxide dihydrate so it's the chemical formula of the ore from which aluminium is extracted now comes to the reason that why it is named as bauxite why is it named as bauxite the aluminium oxide dihydrate well interestingly the name the common name of this chemical compound it is related with the origin from where it has been discovered the name of this chemical compound that is aluminium oxide dihydrate the name of this chemical compound common name of this chemical compound it has been derived from the place from where this compound from where the bauxite was first discovered so bauxite was first discovered from a town situated in france the name of the town was les box the name of the town was les box so from the name of the town les box this ore of aluminium gets its name that is bauxite so the name it is related with the place of origin from where it has been discovered first okay now come to the next one that is you are able to see over here the chemical formula so from the chemical formula just try to name this chemical compound it's a very important chemical compound uh, from the board's point of view the questions are asked that uh, name a chemical compound name a hydrated salt 
with five molecules of water of crystallization per salt so it's a very important example it's a very good example of the hydrated salt with five molecules of water of crystallization attached in a loose chemical combination with the copper sulfate salt so yes the name of the chemical compound what it is it is copper sulfate pentahydrate copper sulfate pentahydrate okay this copper sulfate pentahydrate it's a very very important compound it's a very important uh, hydrated salt and you must have definitely seen that uh, experiment that activity in which we made the copper sulfate crystal heated in the test tube and later on you are able to you were able to observe that the water droplets got evaporated and you got a white colored anhydrous copper sulfate so from the activity even the questions can be framed so this makes this chemical compound very very important now what is it commonly known as it's commonly known as the blue vitriol it's commonly known as blue vitriol the blue vitriol blue because uh, you must have seen the salt the blue color crystals are present so from the color it gets its name blue vitriol and why vitriol vitriol is actually a group or a class of chemical compound which consists of the metal sulfates vitriol it's a group or a class of chemical compound which consists of the metal sulfate so here you are able to see it's a copper metal sulfate okay so vitriol is Uh, the term it's a name given to a group of chemical compound which are having the metal sulfate similarly you must have seen the green color uh, crystal, uh, crystal salt that is the iron sulfate ferrous sulfate so that ferrous sulfate it also it is a metal sulfate so because of which it is also given the common name that is green vitriol green due to the color the color of the crystal it is green in color and vitriol again you are able to see that in the ferrous sulfate you are having the metal sulfate so as the metal sulfate is present it is given the name that is vitriol and before vitriol whatever prefix you are adding that pertains to the color of that chemical compound the color of that hydrated salt now coming to the next one that is borax borax it's a sodium salt which is very commonly used in our homes in the cleaning agents like the dish washer okay in the dish washer uh, cleaning uh, chemical it is used the borax so borax it is basically a sodium salt so just now i'm just writing over here its chemical name okay the chemical name of borax it is disodium tetraborate disodium tetraborate and as i have written the chemical name now it is easy to come to the chemical formula disodium means there are two atoms of sodium disodium two atoms of sodium tetra tetra is for four so over here in this chemical compound per molecule of this chemical compound there are four atoms of boron so here it is the chemical formula of this hydrated salt that is borax so now you must be wondering that why is it has got the name as borax so you are able to see that it is a boron sodium salt it's a boron sodium salt due to the presence of the boron atoms it has got the name as borax along with the sodium atoms there are boron at atoms which are chemically combined because of which it gets the name borax so borax it is the sodium boron compound it's a sodium salt which contains the atoms of 
boron it's a hydrated salt you are able to see that there are 10 molecules of water which are chemically combined to each molecule of the salt sodium borate okay now coming to the last one that is potassium hydroxide potassium hydroxide it's a very important chemical compound because in the life process chapter you have uh, you must have gone through a chemical activity you must have gone through the activities which are given in the ncrt so in one of the activities the potassium hydroxide was used so do you remember what was the use of the potassium hydroxide the potassium hydroxide it is a very good absorber of the carbon dioxide gas okay so for that purpose it was used in that very activity in that very experiment which is given in the life process so this one chemical compound it is not only limited to your chemistry portion but it also comes in the chemical experiments in the activities which are listed in the bio chapters of the ncrt so it makes it all the more important so what is its chemical formula potassium hydroxide it is koh now coming to its common name it is commonly named as the caustic potash it is commonly named as the caustic potash now over here what does the term caustic mean the word caustic means something a chemical which is highly corrosive in nature which is highly reactive which is highly corrosive in nature and potassium hydroxide it is an alkali okay it is a base which is soluble in water it is a alkali it's a very strong base and uh, due to the presence of the hydroxyl ions oh minus ions it makes it highly corrosive in nature okay so from its corrosive nature it gets the name caustic and potash may the word potash it is for potassium similarly naoh sodium hydroxide it is also an alkali it is also a strong base because of which it has uh, got the common name as the caustic soda where caustic is for corrosive in nature and soda is for the sodium salt uh, for the sodium hydroxide so that's all for today today we have covered these seven chemical compounds and their common name similarly in the upcoming videos we will be covering the other chemical names as well the chemical compounds as well you can comment below in the comment section that which are those chemical compounds that you want me to cover in the upcoming videos or what could be the interesting topics on which i can make the other videos till then thank you and have a nice day